Welcome back to my channel. I'm currently in Korea and I am in desperate need of getting my nails done because they've grown out a lot. I've been here for like two weeks and so definitely due for a gel mani. And so I'm going to get my nails done today and I thought I would film the whole thing and bring you guys with me. Now, every time I visit Korea, I always go to the same nail salon in Hongdae um, because she's really good. She works by herself and um, she works really late as well, so it's really easy to book in with her and so I'm gonna like catch a train there because I'm currently in Gangnam. It's gonna take about 14 minutes, so we should get going. We got no plans, we got nothing to do You tell me you love me, I go start the coffee Sunday so we just arrived to Hongdae, FYI, we're wearing masks because the Wuhan virus is out and about so we don't want to contract anything. Me to get out of exit 3. So to get here, catch the train to Honggik University and then exit through exit 3. And the nail salon is just up there. With a little hurricane, white hot angel with the daredevil's brain, this feeling I just can't fight it. You know all the ways I like it. My north, you must have you my east, you my west. When you see me at my worst, try to make me feel my best. This love we Everyone, meet Laura. She is the owner of the salon and she's been doing nails for five years now. She's really good at doing gel nail designs. So what she's doing now is removing my existing gel polish with her e-file. This is a really quick and easy way to remove gel polish. And because I have a hard gel layer underneath, that's actually protecting my nail bed. So she's actually not filing it down that deep. Then she trims my nails and now whenever I have short nails, I usually opt for a round pointy shape because it makes my fingers look longer and slimmer and so that's what she's doing here. Then Laura moves on to cuticle work. She's pushing back my cuticles and just removing any dead skin on my nail bed. And then she goes in with her little nippers to remove them. Once my nail beds are prepped and cleaned, we're ready to move on to the design. Now every time I go get my nails done, I usually have a design I want in mind. And this one I found on Instagram by an account called nail underscore 0408. This is a nude colored design with a white outline and some accent glitter nails. And so I asked Laura if she can copy it, but also add like one extra finger with some more bling because I just want to be a bit extra, you know? So for this design, we're going to start off with a gel base coat on all my nails. That's going to be cured under the LED light and any residue is then wiped off. Then a new gel polish is painted on top. For the glitter, I have chosen this color and that's just going to be painted on a few of my nails. I'm 
After that comes the white outline. So Laura is using a art gel and she's using a fine brush to outline each of my nails. I've been hung over since the weekend. Last night my fake ID got stolen. I dropped my phone, cracked the screen, roommate just smoked all my weed. My life's a mess, I didn't notice. Whenever bad shit happens, doesn't bother me at all. No. Then a layer of clear soft gel is applied on top. No fear. Living young and reckless, I don't really give a fuck. No, I just turn the music up so I can't hear. Now, remember I did ask for a bling nail. So this is the one she's working on and she's applying a silver sort of like glittery color as the base. Then she's gonna pop some crystals on top. So the crystals are stuck on with like a nail glue. So she's applying the glue first and then she grabs a whole bunch of different sized crystals and she places it on top of my nail. After that, everything is sealed with a layer of top gel. So this is what my nails look like and I'm really happy with the design. I think she did a really good job. And for this design, it cost me 100,000 won, which is equivalent to like $100, which isn't very cheap, I guess, to other parts of the world. Generally, Korea, Japan, like those countries, it's actually, I feel like it is quite expensive to get your nails done, but like, it's because they're so intricate. They're like, take time with your, with your nails. They don't rush you. Um, and so that's what I like about that. And generally what I have found in the past is that the gel that they use, um, I don't know if it's just how they prep my nails or the gel that they use. I usually like can keep my nails like, like this for longer. It probably lasts about three to four weeks where if I get my nails done, Elsewhere, like in Australia, by like the second week, like I'll need to get them redone, they're chipped or yeah, it's just not like as long lasting. So I guess like for me, I love nails. So it's worth it for me because I love getting my nails done and then watching how they do the different techniques. And then I literally would like go home and try to do it myself. Anyways, thank you for joining me for today's video. I need to finish getting ready and I'm going to head out to dinner. So yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.